Hey everyone, it is the Noodle Man here and 2022 is here, week one. And let me tell you, it has been a very successful week for me this week. Uh, one of the biggest weeks ever by far. So um, check it out, let's see what I found. All right, here we go. And uh, I struggled this week getting uh, a supply of the 20s and, and 50 cents. Um, they just weren't in the coin machine. Uh, but I, I've still managed to get some and uh, what I found was good. So kick it off uh, with this guy here uh, from New Zealand, which is one of my favorite coins. This week I found a 1987 uh, which is a 20 million mintage and a 1989 which is 9 million so not in the best condition um, I think the later designs are a little bit more striking but uh, I'm always happy when I see those guys uh, the Australian 10 cents um, 2016 50th anniversary of decimal currency uh, I'm really happy when I find this coin 6.2 million I don't find too many of them but certainly happy when I do uh, we've got some good variety of 10 cents this week. Um, the 2018. Um, so that's uh, 3.1 million. So that was good to find. Found three of those. The 2019 JC. So I uh, that's uh, 3.9 million. And a 2021. So this is the interesting one because currently the mintage on the on the mint website. It's 1.25 million. So if that stays around that figure, this is a very interesting coin in the years to come. Uh, so if you can find the 2021 10 cent coin, definitely hold on to it. Um, onto the 20 cents and, and the Centenary Federation. This week I found one of these uh, New South Wales coins, 3.2 million. I just really love it. All the designs on these coins are really cool. The Northern Territory, uh, that's 2.1 million, so they're all low minted 20 cent coins. That's why I still keep them despite their condition. Uh, they're not in the best condition, but uh, still worth keeping, I think. Uh, Western Australia, 2.4 million. Um, 50th anniversary decimal currency, found one of them this week from 2016. Uh, I always love finding this coin, 4.5 million. So that was good. And uh, this independent, so this is back to the 2018 Armistice um, Centenary coins that um, I've been collecting over the last uh, few weeks or more than that, few months. Uh, this is the independent, so I've had this one before unfortunately, so um, it didn't make it as uh, coin of the week this week. But as you know, I'm still chasing the 50 cent devoted and the 20 cent curious, so out of a set of 15 coins, only two more to go. So, another one of the independents. Now for the 50 cents, and uh, these were some good finds. This one here, the uh, 50th anniversary of the Australian Institute of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander Studies, 3 million mintage from uh, 2014. So, uh, that one's a good find. This one is even better, and yes, uh, this has been coin of the week twice in the past and most weeks you find it in the top three didn't make it this week so we've had a very good week uh, this is the 2017 50th anniversary of the 19, uh, 1967 referendum and the 25th anniversary of Marbo uh, but what's even better about this and the great design is the mintage 1.4 million so not too many of these around um, you can still find them in, in good condition like that so that was an excellent find. Um, and then just onto the, um, the low minted uh, 50 cent coins of recent years that we've been finding, the IRB 2019, 1.05 million, so one of those. The 2019 JC, so this is uh, uh, 870,000 only of these coins, so good to find that one. Uh, this is a coin that's been, the mint figures have been revised. We, we did for a while there think that it was a much higher mintage from the annual report, but the mints revised it back to a 2 million mintage. It's the 2019 in International Year of Indigenous Languages. Uh, this one I think is definitely the sleeper of the lot. The 2020, only 720,000 of these coins. So 
Grab them while you can. I think they're going to get very rare very soon, uh, provided that the mint doesn't throw more into circulation. This one, the 2021, I've only found two this week. We've been finding, uh, I've been finding a lot lately. Uh, 1.44 million is the mintage currently on the website. I would suspect it's going to be a lot more than that. But for now, I'm keeping them just in case. And that was it. Okay, now <laughs> we have a lot to talk about here. What a week we had. And uh, let's just address the elephant in the room first. These great Aussie coin hunt coins from uh, 2021 exploded this week. Uh, the the um, $1 coin rolls were the gift that kept on giving this week. Let, let me tell you, because uh, it has gone crazy. Actually, um, uh, couldn't find as many um, 20s and 50 cents as I normally would, but normally would. But I made sure I kept going back to get the $1 uh, coin rolls, and I probably should have done more, uh, but can't uh, take everything out of the bank, I, I suppose. So we'll start it off. Uh, this is the B for barbecue, uh, and this is one I hadn't had before, so this was a good find. Uh, now I have three of them, so <laughs> that was good. Um, the E for emu, one of those. Now we found five of the emu, so that was pretty crazy. Um, now, as you know, Rebecca's mum has been uh, staying with us, so this is her coin of the week. She she liked this one, the F for flies, and I found eight of these this week. So it was a, you know, some weeks I, I don't find any of these great Aussie coin hunt coins. So something's definitely happened. I've, I've stumbled upon. Uh, a little bit of a gold mine, or the mint has just decided to unleash them into circulation. I don't know. You know, I don't know which one it is. Hopefully, the the first. I wouldn't. I'd like to see these coins still at a low mintage. But anyway, this one, the Milo. This is actually Rebecca's coin of the week. So she's uh, she couldn't resist the Milo this week. I found nine of the Milo, so they just kept popping up everywhere. Uh, Unfortunately, I only found one of these, the R4, the Redback Spider. Just look at that coin. And it, it, I know the G was the colorful one in the set, but imagine this one with a bit of color. You know, I know there's uh, a few other coins, some silver coins and things out there that uh, have had color in the past, but I think that coin is one of the best out there and uh, yeah, would help with some color. Uh, the V, uh, this is a coin that I hadn't had in the past, the Victor Lawnmower. Now I have 10. <laughs> so that came in out of nowhere with a flurry. Uh, the good old Witchetty Grub for W. Um, that's a cool, cool um, shine to it, this coin. Four of those. Uh, got two of the Zs for Zinc Sunscreen. And uh, the X, oh my god, I found 15 of the X's. They just kept coming from, from everywhere. So if you need an X, if you're missing an X, how do you get your set? Send me a message. I might be able to hook you up. So uh, yeah, what a week. So um, Great Aussie Coin Hunt Coins 2. I think I just stumbled upon a bit of a gold mine. So um Definitely made it one of the best weeks I've ever had noodling, so it was very cool. Uh, it's just a lot of fun. I find it a lot of fun when you open up the coin rolls and you see plenty of coins that you you like. Uh, instead of having to, uh, some weeks you're just digging through um, coin roll after coin roll and you just can't find anything good. Well, this week was the opposite. So I uh, definitely can't complain about that. Uh, on to the regular coins now. Um, this one is the 2001 Centenary of Federation. Uh, 27.9 million mintage. Well, you might say, okay, what's so fantastic about that? It looks like a pretty ragged coin. It's got a rim cut just there. So uh, that was interesting. Um, despite its condition, I'll keep it aside just based on that for all you cud lovers out there. And uh, same year. And we've had this in the past, where the 2001 um, 
Centenary Federation and this one, the 2001 International Year of Volunteers, showed up together with the same cards. So uh, that's one card there and another card here. So uh, very interesting how I've had that. Um, this is it's, it's uh, twice that that has happened now. It's just history repeating itself. Unfortunately, the the rest of this coin is in pretty rugged condition. It's a bit filthy and grimy, but I'll keep it aside. Um, Centenary of Anzac. I'll skip through these pretty quickly because we're getting getting a lot of these. Uh, found uh, two of the 2016, so two point one nine million. Four of the 2017s, 1.9 million, and four of the 2018s, 2 million. Now, most weeks this would pop up, and I feel like I've been saying this a, a bit in this video. Most weeks this would pop up in the top three coins of the week. This didn't even make the cut, so uh, you know you can get an idea what's in store uh, later in this video. But this is the. Uh, um, one of the four, four out, uh, yeah, let me start again. The Gold Coast Commonwealth Games set, so you're familiar with the color $2 versions. There's actually four of the $1 versions, so that was part of the set. So um, we had one a few weeks ago as well. So I need to dig out all the ones of those that I have, because uh, all four of them are similar design. So I just got to check that I've got the whole set yet. So I'll have a look for that later. Um, 2019, uh, 35 years of the Australian one dollar coin. This is the U, 1.512 million. So I found two of those this week. Uh, there's a few that I put back. They just weren't in good condition. So starting to guitar my collection there. Uh, 2019 JC, 2.3 million. So one of those. Uh, 2019 Great Aussie Coin Hunt. We've got uh, one of the crickets. Uh, we've got one of the Iced Volvo and this one the platypus so I don't like this set as much as the 2021 um, I think they definitely upped their game for the 2021 set compared to the 2019 found two of these so uh, this was a big find and again this is probably a coin that would end up in the top three coins of the week the 2020 100 years of Qantas. So 600,000 is the mintage currently on the Mint website. So if you can find one of those currently, hopefully they don't pump the pump next year's annual report with a whole bunch of those. But that was uh, that was it for the one dollars. So big week for the one dollars. Uh, Two dollars. Um, this is a 2008 uh, 47 million mintage but we've got another rim card so um, just on this edge here and uh, definitely something's going on with the uh, with that edge there so I'll put that one aside as a, as a card uh, I don't find many of I don't think I've found one of the um, rim cards for the two dollars so far the 2011 1.8 million so low mintage regular two dollar coin Three of those this week. Uh, 2016 uh, Australian Olympic team. This is the blue, so two million mintage. Uh, I just this coin. The colours just really striking with this coin. They're just simple blues and greens and yellows, but and, and the red just sticks out straight away. Uh, 2017 Let's We Forget coin. Uh, 3.98 million. So another one of those. Invictus Games. Um, Tend to find at least one of these every week from 2018, 2.1 million. Same with the Eternal Flame from the same year, although this one's a high mintage, 5.4 million. Uh, this one's not in the best condition. Uh, two of the 2019 JCs, uh, 2 million mintage uh, for that one. Uh, this one was good, three of the Women's T20 World Cup from 2020, two million mintage for these ones. Um, just love the colors on that coin. And this one's also one of my favorites, the 2020 Firefighters coin. And this one, I don't know if you can see it on the video, just the fire in the center there, it looks a little bit different than the ones I've found in the past. It just seems to be a little bit more detail in the flames. Maybe I just haven't noticed it before, but 
Uh, yeah, this is, that just struck me. So um, this is definitely a cool coin to find because currently the mintage is 1.6 million. So hopefully that one stays at that number. Gold Coast, uh, Gold Coast, what am I talking about? Tokyo Olympics from 2020. Uh, we found the Courage this week. Uh, also found the Passion. So all of these are 2 million mintage. And one of the Resilience. So we always tend to get at least one of the Resilience. And the Ambulance Service has popped up again. And again, the uh, colour is um i don't look i'm starting to think maybe they were minted like this almost because um everyone that i found has had the the color chipped off so either they're getting chipped off in circulation or they actually came out of mintage like this so i wouldn't be surprised if it was actually the mintage uh procedure or something went wrong i heard it was actually the glue that went wrong so uh we'll have to see i i, I take the uh opinion that um, that could be a good find if uh, if the color is chipping off in a few years time in, in circulation you might find a lot of those without any color at all so if you can keep some aside with the color on uh, could could be worth something just uh, from collectability and rareness 2021 um, 30 years of the wiggles so this week we got the whole set uh, of the two dollar color coins so we got um, uh, this one's wags the dog uh, two of those, two of the Dorothy the Dinosaur. That's got, this is almost straight out of the mint, this one. Nice good shine of it. Henry the Octopus. And Captain Feathersword, which we haven't had for a while, Captain Feathersword. But I have a lot of them now. So that capped off a big, big week for the ones and uh, particularly, particularly the ones and the two dollars. And now for the top coins of the week, and it won't be the top three, it's the top four, and understandably, because I've already had a lot of coins that will, would have normally fit in the top three coins, and I, to be honest, I found so much this week, I couldn't narrow it down to a top three, so we'll kick it off with the top four, and it is another one of these Anzac Remembered coins from 2015, the 20 cent collection. This is the Nurses, so uh, not one of my favorite sets. I definitely prefer the uh, Armistice Centenary from 2018. There's just a lot more detail in those coins, but um, this is a, a collection that uh, I'm slowly building. So this is another one that I was missing. So I now have uh, five. So I've got the Light Horseman, the Home Front, now the Nurses, the Unknown Soldier, and the Gallipoli Landing. So uh, missing quite a few of the others the war years mateship royal australian navy remembrance day wartime animals which would be interesting to see what that coin could be last post war correspondence flying uh, australian flying corps australian imperial force so um yeah chipping away at this little collection uh, it's not one that i'm particularly uh, crazy about but it is still fun to find these coins when they pop up in the coin roll so that was number four Okay, and at number three, we have this coin here, the 2005 Gallipoli 1915 coin. So 90 years since Gallipoli. Um, this is actually a B mint mark coin. So not only did we have a big, uh, a big week for the one dollar coins in the uh, 2021 Great Aussie Coin Hunt, but we actually found quite a few of these mint mark coins. So this is the B mint mark. And believe it or not, this coin actually had a G mint mark, which was uh, which stood for Gallipoli. Uh, Forty thousand of those G mint mark coins. There was also a C, a B, uh, sorry, a C, an S, and an M, which stood for Canberra, Sydney, and Melbourne, um, all with different mintages. But this B mint mark, and it didn't mean that it was minted in Brisbane necessarily. It was struck in the uh, Canberra Royal Australian Mint. And then they had some sort of mobile press that they did in the different cities. Uh, but this B Mint was 38,719, so definitely not high mintage. Not too many of these out there. 
Uh, but it's just the design that lets this one down. It's, it's just a, I guess it's a silhouette, um, which I guess they could have, it's, it's meant to be more of a haunting image or so, but a little bit more detail on this coin and I think I would have been a much bigger fan of it, but that still came in at number three. Okay, and number two, what is this? So, uh, to add to the uh, success that we had with the uh, Great Aussie Coin Hunt 2, these um, $1 coin rolls definitely were the gift that kept on giving because I found four of these coins. Uh, not all in the best condition, one, condition. this one's the best, uh, but it's actually an E-Mint mark. So um, this is the 2004 Eureka Stockade coin. And uh, we had a, a new e mint mark, and all four of these were the e mints, so that was 95,948. There's also a c mint mark, an s, a b, and an m. So, uh, definitely an interesting coin um, showing uh, a, you know, what happened during the Eureka stockade back in 1854. Um, four of these coins so <laughs> didn't have one before now I have four, four so very excited about that so that came in at number two and now for the top coin of the week what's this one gonna be another mint mark coin this is a very cool coin that I found again in the one dollar coin rolls uh, great success for those this week this is the 1999, the last Anzac coin. This is the C mint mark. So 126,161 of these coins. And just look at this, this the detail on this coin. I really like this coin with the uh, the, the digger with the slouch hat uh, on. Um, really a, a cool coin. The only interesting thing about this is the color of it. This, seems to be a bit of a discoloration. I don't know if it's meant to be like that, but it's certainly not as uh, golden. It looks almost bronze, this coin. Um, so it definitely stood out when I found it in the mint, uh, in the coin rolls. I was like, what's a funny looking coin? Uh, just by the color of it, even before I saw the design. But uh, yeah, despite the discoloration, I don't know if it's, it's meant to be like that or not, it still seems to be in very good condition. So, um, Definitely a, a very cool find, and um, it's uh, it set the tone for the year ahead. So uh, this one might be hard to beat straight off the bat um, in week one. Uh, so we'll have to see what the rest of uh, 2022 will uh, hold for us. But that is coin of the week. So definitely can't complain about that week at all. That's uh, one of the weeks that you would definitely dream of as a coin collector so I'm very happy it was very exciting and a great way to kick off 2022 hopefully all my luck hasn't uh, been used up already um, hopefully we've got a lot more uh, success to come in the weeks ahead so uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time <music>